Hello guys, how are you? So today we will be talking about pieces. Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, short 15 minutes video, we will be talking about what are the general features a thesis should have. Okay, any thesis, any type of thesis, generally the skeleton structure for all students, specifically I am talking about PharmD and this is my thesis book. Okay. So check it out in the video. Let's get started. So guys, so this is the main framework. So how to write thesis? It has 10 parts. So the first one is title page. The title page is the front print page of your book. It, it looks like this. So this is the thesis book. The one this is the front page, the title page. Okay, it contains the title of your thesis, your university logo, okay, and uh, or your college logo here. Here here you have front first one is your university logo. Below one you can see is your college logo. Okay, then you have the university name and uh, for what degree which you have done the thesis and then the team which was involved the name of the team and the roll number and then you have the guided name then your department name then your college name okay so this is the title page then comes is certificate of completion of your thesis the third part is declaration certificate it is three certificates it has so first one is mentor declaration where the de de mentor declares that so and so people were there under her guidance for executing the thesis and it is original one and uh, you know it, it is not been copied from anywhere okay and then you and your team declares the same that we are the team we are doing we have done this thesis under so and so guidance and the you it's a original one and it hasn't been submitted any time to anywhere any diploma or degree or university before this is the first time then copyright declaration certificate is a certificate which says that no one can use your research for un under their name before getting your consent okay so the three certificates are aligned after the title page and certificate comes then comes the fourth one that is abstract so this abstract what it is is a summary of whole thesis it includes the introduction of your thesis the methodology the conclusion f and the result in a short summary of 180 to 300 words max okay with the, with the keywords involved for more info of how to make the abstract you can check out my already video which i have made which is how to make poster and how to present it within three minutes in that video i'll show it in i button you can check that out it is a 50 minute video there i think in 25th minute i have this told you with case study of a uh, with few two examples of how to make the abstract just check that out the after this abstract you will put acknowledgement it includes nothing but all the stakeholders who helped you in making your thesis come this far and for example your uh, guide your other teachers your other people who have helped you for example librarian and uh, other people with, like who gave you permission to do your work okay all the people who led you to complete your thesis you are giving gratitude okay then the sixth part is table of contents it is the main part okay it includes all the uh, you know top uh, headings of your thesis then is list of tables all the tables which you have uh, displayed in the thesis okay with their name and table number or then list of figures in this all the figures which you have shown in your thesis with their name page number okay, and serial number then abbreviations table here it you, incl you include all the short forms abbreviations which you have used in your thesis what they are what is their full form 
then is a preface you know as you know for all the books preface is nothing but it in, it is an introduction of a book that explains what it is all about or why it is written and yes it will be in the last okay so these are the 10 things any type of this will have generally this structure of these components which is involved the reason for making this video is specifically for PharmD is because PharmD people generally the projects are pharmacotherapeutics related or uh, maximum 95 percent if I say maybe or 5 percent or 2 percent people will be doing projects apart from pharmacotherapeutics okay but M farm or B farm they will be doing an analysis pharmacology like that okay it is so farm D people do treatment oriented thesis pharmacotherapeutics so that's why somewhat the framework in table of contents may change however almost both are similar few things may change okay now this is table of contents okay so it has if I say in a broad way it is divided into a conceptual framework part then review of related literature part then plan and procedure of the study of your research then analysis and interpretation of the data from the research then what are your findings conclusions and suggestions in a broad way okay however the table of contents for these four broad ways are divided into 10 parts okay so uh, I will just say because that this the five broad ways which I have suggested in this the B farm and M farm students will have the broad version of another part called yeah plan and procedure here right of the study here the experimental procedures tools and techniques employed to the study it will be somewhat longer okay only that is the difference other than that everything is same however these are the sections so 10 sections the introduction literature review aim and objective study methodology results discussion conclusion feature perspective bibliography and excerpts or appendix okay so let's get into it so in introduction part you have to first introduce this section then you will talk about topic of research of your research in a brief manner what it is the th what is the topic uh, thesis is about you have to explain in next section you have to justify the problem and the need of your research why your this research is important to do then you have to give a statement of that problem okay next definition of terms used in the study or we can say operational definition so all the words the definitions which have used it while you're writing the thesis those you have to write in the first in introduction part itself then you have to write hypothesis of the study it means what you think the conclusion would be without the facts that's why you're saying hypothesis of the study then delimitation of the study it means what are the limitations of your study even before the study starts what do you think that is called delimitation of the study okay then is significance of the study the importance of the study you have to show here and how it affects in a educational aspect okay then the next section is literature review in this you have to mention seven parts that is introduce the section then source of review of your related literature which you have re you did research in literature wise right what is that source name of those sources okay list them down then significance of the review of these related literature what is the importance then the process of literature review how did you did the literature review the whole the process <clears throat> then you have to mention the review of the related literature like this name of the literature then write a summary of whatever you have read and understood what the summary is what that literature told tells you okay so like this uh, you can mention a number of literatures which supports your thesis or mm, it 
tells the need of your thesis, the research. Okay. Then the review of related literature, as I said, then studies related to variable. Like, uh, for example, a few um, components of your thesis, parameters or entities, which you are using for comparison or for data, that they, uh, they can maybe variable type. Like, uh, you can divide it into subdivisions, international level variable or national level variable or any other type of variable based on your research which type of research it is if and without variables there will be no such there is no chance you have to okay then overview of the review of your literature what you have concluded from those literature reviews then is aim and objective aim the difference between the aim and objective is c aim is a broad way of describing what is the goal of your research ultimately but objective is how to reach those goals you are telling those points okay and those objectives they are should be divided into primary objective and secondary objective what is your main objective and the other object is also which you can fulfill but that is not the main objective for example if i want to say primary objective in my thesis was to find the percentage of adherence to the diabetes medication for the patients who were under the treatment the secondary objective was the advantages of people who are adherent to the medication and to that of the people who are not adherent to the treatment plan that is my secondary objective so i'm just giving an example then a study methodology in this section methodology of your study you have to describe what are the methods and what is the process of your study and all okay so in 12 parts and that is introduce this section first this methodology section what you will cover then study site where you this research took place the how much time it took place the duration what is the sample size the patient population then study criteria sample selection process screening method of for people whom you took people or uh, if I'm saying pharmacotherapeutics, the patients generally. Okay. And if it is for B from M from analytes, analytical chemistry or pharmacology, then it will be some different, maybe animals or any uh, reagent like that. Okay. So it inclusion criteria, exclusion criteria, then materials which were used for your research tools and techniques employed in your study the source of data from okay where how you generated the data the source then study procedure what was the process how you did statistical techniques which were employed during you know data extraction what were the statistical techniques used it can uh, you can describe those uh, techniques based on your research okay and uh, like these as i mentioned descriptive inferential graphical statistics or it can be any other plan of work what was the plan of executing your thesis the study design which you say right then as a study design okay then we have result results show the results data then that is the data you are presenting the raw data then discussion in this in this discussion section the sixth section it is all about interpretation of that data analyzing that right it is divided into six parts the first one is introduce this section again then prerequisites for the data analysis which you want required then you analyze the data then you mentioned the demographic information of that uh, subject samples are uh, objective wise analysis the, of, as you said the primary objective how you fulfill those you have to mention the secondary objective the objective wise analysis in this section you have to do for the raw data which you presented in the fifth section the results one then overview of this section then seventh one is the conclusion in the broad way we can say finding conclusions and suggestions so it is divided into seven parts in that first you have to introduce this section then what are the findings of your study 
that you have to mention in then conclusions of the study then what are the limitations we have talked about the limitations before Lim difference between the both is the limitation is the limitations which you write down before you find out before the study begins to the limitation of the study means the what are the limitations after your study has finished you feel like these are my limitations or weakness of my research okay then you have to write about what how the what are the educational effects of the study how it will impact the literature which is already there okay in what way and then suggestions for any further research from the research which you have taken place you think that more research in this aspect is needed and can be done in future such time okay then overview of this section after that eighth section is future perspective what is your future perspective after the thesis is published about your research how it can be helpful like that and then you have is ninth one bibliography Bibog bibliography versus reference there is references there is a difference bibliography means you the all the places from which you have studied and you got a conclusion of those things and then you have what you understood have written down the references means as it is you have copy pasted those th statements because of their research uh, okay uh, all those uh, uh, comes under references the facts comes under references bibliography are the con all the websites or blogs research papers which you have read from what you got understanding from that you have added some information into those thesis so that comes under bibliography just for the information then is annexures or appendix few people write annexures in their subheadings few write appendix so in this section you will write uh, keep all those uh, document uh, templates okay the documents which have you used all the tools which you have used in your thesis their templates uh, uh, we, no, difference between document and record you know so you have to mention your documents you have to main, keep the approval forms of the facilities where you have executed your research their permission letters and any other thing which you didn't or were not able to mention in the previous sections those things also you can mention in the appendixes so this is all about the general structure of thesis and all the things can be mentioned in this way and it is for all farmer students specifically farmd as i am saying we mostly do 99 percent pharmacotherapeutic related projects so this is a very good structure and for b farm m farm if anything you feel cannot be fulfilled in this methodology part you can add a separate heading into this in the fourth section i mean to say so i hope you got a lot of information so i hope you got a very crisp small simple you know overall structure of how your thesis can be made if you know this even before starting your research it is very well and good for you because sometimes what happens is after completion of your research you find out oh, i didn't cover this aspect of in my research sometime it may happen with students so if you know the thesis structure before itself you will not face the problem so this is my thesis so i'm very happy i felt very very happy when i completed my thesis hope this is useful to you share with your other friends classmates or any of your juniors who get useful helpful if you like this content then like, subscribe and share this video and subscribe to my channel. See you again. Bye-bye.